Hey, what's up guys? This is Ashraf Roslan and welcome to another episode of Numbers. Now, computer hackers can be very troublesome for IT users. It's a sad tragedy for people's files to be hacked. So, sending a file to another user can be requires a great deal of security. That is why they introduce a system known as cryptography. Now, cryptography is actually a branch of mathematics that is used widely by many IT security specialists. So, in this episode, we explore the fundamental concept of cryptography using matrices. So, without further ado, let's watch. I'm going to show you how to apply matrices in cryptography. First, we must use encoding matrix as well as decoding matrix encoding matrix is a random 3 by 3 matrix uh, we use for example 3 by 3 matrix you can either use 2 by 2 or even more to reply to the message that we want to send to the user let's the message be prepare to negotiate let this 3 by 3 matrix be an example uh, we just use random number like negative 3, negative 3, negative 4 0, 1, 1, 4, 3, 4 back to the message uh, we assign each letter I mean assign each number to each letter in this message for simplicity, we use A, B, C equal to 1, 2, 3, and so on. This is for simple use. If you want it for difficult use, you can use 3, 2, 1, dot, 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 or maybe 10, 9, 8, dot, dot, dot. It's up to you. As we use A, B, C equal to 1, 2, 3, so we sign A, B, C until Z. I mean, 1, 2, 3 equal to A, B, C to each of these letter so we will get 16 18 5 16 1 18 5 3 we will get 20 0 we will get 15 and 14 here 5 7 18 20 I mean it should be 9 9, 1, 20, and 5. For the message, if you want to use spacebar or comma or even this symbol or any symbol, we use 27 because A, B, C is only 1 until 26. So 27 we use for the symbol. So in this case, here is spacebar and here is spacebar. So we use 27 here. And 27 here. After we assign this number, <coughs> we arrange it into this type of matrix. But first, we use 3 by 1, 3 by 1, 3 by 1 until the end. Then we combine all of that to become this matrix. But gotta be watch out for this blank space. It's just same as we use spacebar or comma, so we use 27 just to um, fill the blank. After that, we take this matrix, multiply with the encoding matrix that we used in the beginning of this video. Then we get this answer. After that, <coughs> we just cannot give this, uh, I mean, uh, the message to the user like this so we must use a linear form uh, taking from this side to become like we get an array like this you just take this side to put this side this tree put this tree and so on and so forth until this number to be this number so this message <coughs> first you must take the encoding matrix We 
we must inverse it. So it will we'll become this matrix. After the re receiver get this decoding matrix, I mean the inverse from the encoding matrix, then the receiver must perform back the operation where the message turn into the matrix. Just like the previous one, take this part <laughs> into this part and then take this tree into this tree and so on and so forth until it become like this. And then multiply this matrix with this matrix so we we'll get this answer the same as the previous we do but this is the coding part not the encoding part after this so after we get this metric we return in linear form so we then we assign back the number with the letter Previously, we do like 1, 2, 3, <laughs> two, A, B, C. So it will become here P, R, E, E, A, R, E. This, this is space. T, O, space. N, E, G, O T I A T E and this is uh, the blank that we do in the matrix then we write them back the message so it will be Then you have it. Hey guys, there you have it. Hopefully this video tutorial can be very helpful for all viewers out there. As they say, what's good is the knowledge if we do not apply it. Well, I'm Ashraf Rosvan. Assalamualaikum. Thanks for watching.